Given below are measurements of some parts of two triangles. So two triangles are triangle ABC and triangle PQR. Examine whether the two triangles are congruent or not. So we have some measurements being given here and we have to tell on the basis of these measurements whether triangle ABC is congruent to triangle PQR or not. Let's quickly draw a rough diagram for both these two triangles. Now before drawing the rough diagrams, if you can see here we have angle B as 90 degree, angle P as 90, angle A is 90 and angle is Q as 90. It means that we are dealing with two right angled triangles. So if we are dealing with two right angled triangles, let's draw right angles, draw right angle triangles. Let this one be for ABC and let this one be for PQR. Do not bother about the values given here, right? We don't have to draw an accurate diagram, just rough diagram. So in the first one, we have B as 90 degree and here P as 90 degree. Let's name it as Q, this one is R, this one is A and this one is C. So B is 90, P is 90, right? So angle B is equal to angle P equal to 90 degree. Then you have AC as 8 centimeter, AB as 3 centimeter, PR as 3 centimeter, and QR as 8 centimeter. Clearly, AC is the hypotenuse of tri in triangle ABC, and QR is the hypotenuse in triangle QPR. So AC is equal to QR is equal to 8 centimeter. The hypotenuse of AC and the hypotenuse QR both are equal to 8 centimeter. Now, AB and PR are both each 3 cm. So, AB is equal to PR equal to 3 cm. Now, we have two right angles equal. The hypotenuse AC is equal to the hypotenuse QR. We have H. The AB is equal to PR, that is, we have a pair of sides equal. So RHS congruence criterion is being satisfied. Yes, these two triangles are congruent. Okay. In the second part, A is 90 degree, Q is 90 degree. Let's name it as P, this one is R, this one is B, and this one is C. So AC is 5 centimeter. BC is 9 cm, PR is 8 cm, PQ is 5 cm. A and Q both are equal to 90 degree, that is, they are at right angles. So angle A is equal to angle B is 90 degree. But in this one, the hypotenuse is BC equal to 9 cm. The hypotenuse in this triangle is PR that is equal to 8 cm. It means that BC is not equal to PR. So we know that for congruency, all the angles should be equal. You know, this A should be equal to this Q, this B should be equal to P, this C should be equal to R and all the sides of both the triangles should be equal. But in this case, BC is not equal to PR, therefore these two triangles are not congruent. In this problem, we have DA perpendicular to AB, that is they are at right angle. CB is perpendicular to AB, that is these two line segments are at right angle. And then AC is equal to BD. The first part of the question is state the three pairs of equal parts in triangle ABC and triangle DAB. Let us quickly highlight triangle ABC because the two triangles share a common side 
called AB. So this one is ABC and the white one is DAB. Now, it's asking three pairs of equal parts. The first pair will be angle DAB in triangle DAB is equal to angle ABC in triangle ABC because both these two angles are at 90 degree. So this is the first pair that is equal. Then we have AC, the hypotenuse in triangle ABC and this PD, the hypotenuse in triangle DAB. Both these two are equal from this one. So AC is equal to BD. This is the second pair equal. Then the third pair will be the side AB. The AB belongs to both the triangles. Therefore, this is actually common. So here this is the third pair of equal parts. So we have three pairs of equal parts. First part, second part and third part. Now the second part of the question asks which of the following statements is meaningful? Pay attention to this word meaningful. And what it is asking? Triangle ABC is congruent to triangle BAD and triangle ABC is congruent to triangle ABD. Here we have ABC, here we have ABC, but here we have BAD and here we have ABD. Now, if you look at BAD and ABD, what all has happened is we have just changed the position of vertices, but that's important because the position of vertices in both the triangles tell us about the correspondence. So, in order to find which one is meaningful, first we have to set whether these two triangles are congruent or not. Now, if you look from this one, DAB and ABC are at 90 degree. So, we have two right angles equal. AC is the hypotenuse in triangle ABC and BD is the hypotenuse in triangle DAB. We have both the hypotenuses equal and this AB is common. So we have two sides of both the triangles equal. So RHS criterion, congruence criterion is satisfied. Yes, these two triangles are congruent. Now let us find out the correspondence. That is the most important thing. What does the correspondent tell us about both the triangles? It tells us that if let's take this ABC triangle and if we try to, you know, superpose this triangle ABC on triangle DAB, then which vertex will fall on which vertex? So in this case, you can see that angle DAB is equal to angle ABC because they are at 90 degree. So if we take this triangle ABC and if we try to put it on triangle DAB, then this one that is ABC will fall on DAB, angle DAB, right? So, A and B are in correspondence, right, in this one. And then from here, you can see that C will be in correspondence to D. Why? Because if you, when you will place this triangle ABC on this triangle DAB, C will fall on D. So, C is in correspondence to D, right? So, what's the correspondence in this one? A is, correspondent, is in correspondence to B and C is in correspondence to D. So, look here. We have ABC and we have BAD and then we have ABC and then we have ABD. So, A is in correspondence to B, B is in correspondence to A, C is in correspondence to D. What should come? BAD, right? So here we have BAD, but here we have ABD. That's not meaningful. Meaningful in terms of correspondence. It's very important. Congruency means that if you take one triangle and if you try to superpose that triangle on another triangle, then both the triangles should cover each other completely and all the three respective vertices will fall on each other. 
according to the correspondence. So this one is meaningful. 